So here is our lab scenario. This is our DHCP server with the IP address 192.168.1.201 and this is our network A. The subnet is 192.168.1.0/24. Here we have a network B and the network range is 192.168.2.0/24. This is our router actually that is Windows Server 2016 computer. We are using Windows Server 2016 computer as a router and on that server we have a two network interface card one of nic has the ip 192.168.1.1 and that ip address is the gateway for network a and on a second nic we have our ip 192.168.2.1 and that ip will be act as a gateway's ip address for network b on our tscp server already i created a two scope the start IP of scope is 192.168.1.11 and IP is 192.168.1.199. The subnet mask is default 255.255.255.0 and default gateway is 192.168.1.1 and that is the IP address of our router's interface from NetOcket. The DNS server's IP address will be 192.168.1.201 and that is the IP address of our THCP server. On a scope 2, the start IP is 192.168.2.2 and end IP is 192.168.254. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.2.1. That is the IP address of our Windows Server 2016 second NIC. And the DNS server will remain same 192.168.1.201. So this is the, our lab scenario. So first of all, Let's check the scope on our DHCP server. This is your DHCP server and this is the network A scope one. If you see the address pool, it's starting from 1.11 to 199. And if we click on scope options, as you can see, the router's address is 192.168.1.1. For scope two, if you see address pool, start address is 192.168.2.22, 192.168.2.254. And if you see a scope options and under scope options, if you see the router's address is 192.168.2.1. Now let's uh, go on our uh, server. This is the our router and that is Windows Server 2016 computer. And on this computer we have two uh, NIC, network A 192.168.1.1 and network B 192.168.2.1. And we want to use this server as a DHCP relation. Now let's uh, click on manage and select add rules and features. Let's click on next. Select rule base or feature based installation and then click on next. Select the server and click on next. Now on this screen, select remote access. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next again. And here select direct access and OVPN. Click on add feature to add additional features. Click on next. Click on next, click on next again, and click on install. Okay, so as you can see, remote access feature has been installed on this computer, but it's saying uh, configuration is required. Let's click on open the getting started wizard. On configure remote access wizard, select deploy VPN only. Okay, select your server, right click on it and select configure and enable routing and remote access. Click on next. Select custom configuration. Click on next. Select lane routing and click on next. Click on finish. Click on start service. And that's it. Here we go. Now expand your server. Expand IP version 4. Select general. Right click on it. Select new routing protocol. Select DHCP relagent and click on OK. Now select DHCP relagent. Right click on it and select property. Now here you have to specify the IP address of your DHCP server. In my case that is 192.168. 1.201 that's going to add you can also add multiple address if you have a multiple DHCP server click on apply 
click on OK. Now we have to specify the interface on which interface DHCP relay agent will uh, listening for DHCP broadcast and once it receives a DHCP broadcast packet, DHCP relay agent will forward the packet to our DHCP server. If we see our lab scenario, on this interface, we have to configure DHCP relay agent. So let's come back on our router again and right click on DHCP relay agent, select new interface and here I am going to select network B. Let's click on OK. Now here we have options for hope count threshold and boot threshold. We are happy with the default. Let's click on OK. And now our DHCP relay agent is ready to work. Now for this testing purpose, I have another Windows 7 computer and this computer is in our network B. That's uh, coming back on our Windows 7 computer. Let's open uh, network connection properties. Let's uh, enable our uh, NIC. And if you see the property, Our machine is configured to obtain an IP address automatically from DHCP server. Let's click on OK and let's click on Use. OK, so as you can see, our Windows 10 computer got an IP address from our DHCP server. And if we say status and click on Detail, as you can see, the IP address is 192.168.2.2. .2. And the default gateway is 192.168.2.1. And the DHCP server's address is 192.168.1.201. Let's come back on our router. And if we click on uh, Refresh, here you can see on a network B, Relay mode is enabled and request received on this interface is 5, reply received 2 and request discarded total 3 requests. So by using DHCP Relay Agent, our Windows 10 computer receives DHCP settings in a different network from our DHCP server. Now let's move on to our DHCP server and on DHCP server, that's uh, install Wireshark. Because we want to capture the packets. Click on next. I agree. Next. 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 And install. Click on next. Click on I agree. And install it. Click on finish. Click on next. And I select run Wireshark. Click on finish. Okay, before we start a capturing, let's uh, come back on our Windows 7 computer. Let's uh, release the IP address. Okay, now let's start capturing packets on our DHCP server. Let's come back on our Windows 10 computer and let's renew the IP address. Okay, so as you can see, the client got an IP address 192.168.2.2 from our DHCP server. Let's come back on our DHCP server and let's stop capturing packets in Wireshark. So this is our DHCP discover packet. Let's uh, double click on it. Okay, so this is information about client computer, client IP address, currently 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and if we see under relay agent IP address, we can see the IP address of our router's interface address and that is 192.168.2.1. That is the IP address of our router from network P side. And client's MAC address is this. Now if you see the offer packet on offer, again we can see we have a THCP relation IP address as well. Now, if you see the source and destination port, both are 67. If you see a source port is 67 and destination port is 67 as well. Generally, when a client send a packet, that time client use port number 68 and DHCP service will listen on a port number 67. But from this, we can confirm that the DHCP relay agent is in the scenario.
So in this way, we can configure and use DHCP Relay Agent in Windows Server 2016. And that concludes the video demonstration on DHCP Relay Agent. Thank you for watching this video.